Hello guys and welcome to my channel and today we are going to be playing Soda Dungeon so I want to give a shout out to Father Killer who supported me on Patreon so thank you so much if you guys want to help support me on Patreon in helping me make better quality videos put more content on my channel or just overall supports me the link will be in the description below anyway um also if you do want to talk to me away from YouTube I do have a discord so if you do want to talk to me or ask me any questions uh, on these games then please add me on discord I'll put a link in the description below for that and from the last video I'm gonna pick uh, this guy for, uh, called Louis Saint German who says I pretty much finished the game I only need a few stupid accessories which refuse to drop even after a million uh, layer of despair uh, levels so Honestly, thank you so much for your comment. If you want to be featured in the next video, then please put your comment in the comment section below. Don't spam me, just put a, a comment or two, uh, and I'll pick one of you guys to be put into the next video for you guys. So anyway, we're going off onto Dimension 5. Oh my god, it's so exciting. So as you can see, I've got like 86.2 million. Uh gold and also 340 essence so i've just been going off coming back on getting what i can from the banker uh so there 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 oh okay okay so i got quite a lot of essence so i'm going to convert that so yes convert it uh i'm not going to be doing that yet so we're going to see if we can purge our inventory so yes we can so we can do that and then uh do the essence thing right here so i'm not going to spend on my uh essence yet on my relics i'm going to go on to the next dimension first so oh yeah uh, the game will reset. Oh, no, 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 no. First things first. There we go. <laughs> I forgot all about that. So, yeah, uh, we're going to go to our next uh, dimension, which is dimension five, which is pretty much halfway to the warrior dimension. Uh, so, you know, uh, there's not much I can actually do. There's... Uh, uh, okay, so... Mm, okay. Oh, okay, so this is going to be a little bit difficult because, you know, so, uh, you know, you humans are so trusting of one another. I'm curious, do you really believe in that cause? Uh, I'm not saying you shouldn't. In fact, I have no idea. I'm not even sure how to, I got here, to be honest. I just hope your wizard friend knows what he's doing. Sorry, I don't mean to be a downer. Moving on. Uh, so we can either get the critical chance or the MP. So I'm going to go for the critical chance because if we get the forks uh, and also the uh, demon armor, we can try and get our critical chance up to about 100%, uh, which means that I'll always do critical ch uh, critical hits. So we're going to go that. We're going to choose. Yes. Boom. Uh, uh, not bad. Uh, one for the road, and then we've got our fighters as well, which is going to be great when Dimension 6 comes along. And now, friend, your destination approaches. We will meet again. Yes, we will. We will. We will. Okay, so now that I've got that ready, I'm going to speak to the wizard quickly. So, the despair in this place can wear down even the most resolute adventurer. So, take this tip from me, a seasoned user of magic. Sometimes killing the undead is an e as easy as giving them life. Okay, so, we're going to go back through our relics right here. Now, I know this one has a max of 25, so we're going to level this up 25 levels so that we get a... Uh, 25% crit core hit chance. Uh, we're going to go over to see if we can get uh, our dinner boys. Boy! Dinner boy, dinner boy, and one more dinner boy. Oh, yeah, it's just got to be. A... Yeah, so we got our dinner boys uh, right there. We're going to go back uh, to say, oh, oh, sugar. That scared the living for Jeebus out of me, that did. <laughs> Oh gosh, uh, so we're going to press always on that and turn the volume right down. <laughs> oh gosh, okay, so we're going to do that. So now that we can always get our things. 
and then we're gonna go on to our relics and spend our stuff so we've done the critical chance we can upgrade our liquid gold a little bit more so that's exactly what I'm gonna be doing so I'm gonna do that to 50 I'm gonna do this to 50 and then I'm gonna be doing this to 50 as well so we've got 50 50 I can upgrade these a little bit more but I'm I'll probably tinkle with it while I'm away uh, a little bit uh, while I'm away off screen I'll do a couple of runs and probably come back to you guys uh, for uh, first but I'm just gonna do the run with my uh, dinner boys with off screen and then when I get better uh, groups I'm gonna come back uh, and do that with you guys so hopefully you guys will enjoy hello guys and I am back so I was gonna do a couple of runs so uh, I did a couple of runs uh, you know recording and then all of a sudden my phone rotated and I kind of got a corrupted file so unfortunately I'm kind of at the end of it I'm not gonna show you a couple of runs on this one because obviously that will take uh, like over half an hour to do and I want to get a video out on this as soon as possible but I'll try and uh, be more careful next time in the future so honestly I am on the fifth dimension we're going to kill the last boss uh, or the level 500 boss uh, currently this is how my setup is so I've got four healers and one knight now considering we have increased our critical chance by 25 uh, percent and then we've got the demon armor that also gives us a critical chance as well and i've got like uh, my shield as well so if i click on the first one currently i have a 98 percent critical chance with a plus 243 percent critical damage and a 44 percent but uh damage reflection uh, on that so that's fantastic that's all right uh, so you know that's this is how my setup is because obviously I'm only doing 10 levels there's no point in giving uh, bringing my thief in and also I'm going to need them for uh, for the boss as well so this is how you kill it so we're gonna go into level from 491 uh, and do it from there so we're gonna go we're gonna go 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 like you never gone before okay so we're gonna go auto on and then when we get to like level 499 we're gonna turn it off and then do it everything uh individually because obviously it's going to be easier that way uh because you can't kill it otherwise can't kill the boss by just attacking uh so yeah mm, yeah man okay so the reason why I got my knight in the uh, thingy is because if I don't have my knight, uh, just in case I get ambushed or stuff, so that's why I have a knight in my party. So have it your way, but I'll warn you. Only the touch of life can harm a soul as dark as mine. Or oh, sugar, what happened there? I don't know what happened. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is going to press on this, uh, this one here. Uh, is it therapy? And then we're going to uh, uh, press on the... Uh, the, I don't know her and the reason for that is because um, you need to be able to do this otherwise you will not be able to attack so considering the knight I've got no uh, no spell to do it so if I just try and attack uh, I make absolutely no damage so the knight's gonna be there just to go and try and kill the skeletons there so we just got to keep doing this until we deplete her health so we're just gonna do that and then on our last one we're just gonna attack that skeleton right there once you kind of um, kill both skeletons uh, she'll you know try and you know summon them again so we're just gonna do this uh, doo -doo -doo. so ba, 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 ba. okay so kill the skeleton rise from the grave okay so we're gonna heal our party don't forget you gotta heal your party no i didn't want to heal that person okay so i've healed them and then i'll just do two more damn it 
I'm it. I'm not doing very well on here. <laughs> okay, so we can get a. I think we can get away with actually killing her this round. Okay, so uh, to the darkness I return. So she'll explode. I don't know whether I'll have to kill that last one. Uh, I'm assuming I would. Yeah, okay, so yeah, just kill. Yay! So we're halfway there, so to our warrior dimension. So we've got demon armor level 5, magic wand, and blah 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 blah. So fantastic with the jobs completed. Yay! Uh, speak to the wizard. So I'm going to speak to the wizard in here. So you are all. You are really doing it. Uh, I had my doubts, but you've proven me wrong each time. Their power shrinks with each passion encounter. Don't let up. Okay, so we have done this uh, up in here. So we can start from level 5 and go up if we want to. Uh, before going to the next dimension. I'm not going to do that. So the first thing I'm going to do uh, before. Because the next video I'm going to be doing is. I'm going to be doing the 6th dimension. So before I do that. I want to actually show you guys something. So I'm going to go to VIP. And then we're going to go to P-Warp. So P-Warp allows you to start uh, warping to uh, every 100 levels. So plus 100 to start in warp level in a new dimension, main dungeon only. So it means that I can start from level 500. Now the issue with the... Um, the issue is with the, uh, I think, 5th and 7th boss or something along those lines. 5th uh, boss, I want to try and avoid doing that all in one because obviously I have to keep stopping and you know being able to kill that that way so I'm gonna just uh, warning regardless of level you may never walk past the location of an undefeated boss so yes yes three four five so now that I've got five levels into this I should be able actually I'm gonna I should be able to, when I uh, return, should be able to start from level 500, uh, rather 500 that way. So, actually, I'm gonna do. Yeah, I'm actually gonna max that out. Although I'll only be able to start from level 500 uh, from the next dimension. I can't start from level 800 because obviously I haven't killed that boss yet. But this is a really good way of actually being able to. Uh, pass the 500 boss and just go straight from there uh, rather than having to go all the way through it because obviously this uh, that skill that this boss has uh, stays with uh, stays with it so honestly the last thing I'm going to want to do is have to do 10 levels uh, go up to 490 then stop for 10 levels come out then go back in after getting all my party, do 10 levels there, and then stop and then come out. It's just so much easier to do it this way. But anyway, I think I've rambled on for quite some time. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll try and make it so next video that I don't have... Uh, I'm more careful with recording because obviously, you know, I don't like it when it comes up... Uh, uh, error on the video <laughs> so anyway i hope you enjoyed the video uh, please give it a like subscribe to my channel also uh, i'm so close to 500 subscribers and i do have a video waiting ready for when i do hit that so hopefully you guys will enjoy that so if you haven't subscribed yet subscribe ring the notification to get notified of when new videos come uh, are uploaded and you know if you have any suggestions um then please put them in the comment section below and yeah i'll see you all soon Ta -ra.